Now, how does the playground for entrepreneurs fit in with entrepreneurship methods and with your curriculum in the classroom with your entrepreneurship students? Well, the playground for entrepreneurs is largely based on the wider lean startup movement. And as you can see, it has several areas and those several areas integrate in different ways with entrepreneurship methods. So we usually start at the heart area. Um, the heart area, I would say, fits very well with ideation. What makes you tick? What's important to you? What's your passion? How can you get your team together? Um, it also would fit very well with an ikigai exercise or any type of kind of purpose-related, idea-related uh, dynamics and contents, of course, of your workshops and classes. Now, the ear area is about listening to customers and listening to experts. Anything customer development, anything customer discovery fits very well here, which is also the case for the I. And the I is really about observing. So it is about observing customers, observing competition, uh, that also very much relates to uh, a lean startup, uh, to um, competitor analysis, for example. Now, the hand area is really about prototyping. Now, prototyping uh, and market experiments, those are also really build, measure, learn uh, type of lean startup um, uh, aligned. Uh, that's how you can integrate it very well with anything that has to be, has to do with experiments and anything that has to do with MVPs and prototypes. So those are the relationship between the areas and actually the methods and wider concepts that we are using. Uh, all through the game, I have been trying to weave in a little bit of effectuation of how are you going to manage things with the resources that you have, what's your starting point and how are you going to develop? Uh, that's kind of woven into all areas.